This is our Delta Incubators 18X setup and operational video. Uh, when you unbox, what you'll find is your 18X incubator, the 230 volt power supply, 12 volt power supply, two autom automatic water refill bottles, a misting spray bottle, a little water refill bottle, and a little manual. After you've turned on your machine, what you'll see is Firstly, the temperature, that's the actual temperature inside the machine and the humidity inside the machine. It also comes in with a built-in candler right there. Okay, so here's a little shortcut for what all the buttons do. The set button is uh, to set the temperature. The plus button is to simulate turning. So if we press that, we'll see the egg turning come on and you will see the egg turner in operation. The minus button is to kill an alarm and the last button is the egg handling button. So with that you turn on the LED and turn it off when you candle. Lastly what we have here is an air vent. So we recommend leaving it in the middle position but if you do struggle with a very high humidity you can open it up all the way to make sure more fresh air comes in and if you're struggling with a low humidity you can close it all the way to uh, try and get the humidity up okay so next we have the automatic water refill stations so the water trays inside the incubator is uh, is divided into two parts the front one is the big is a big water tray it's the divider sitting right here and the small and the, the the one behind is the small one so we'd recommend starting off um with the with the smaller water tray so you fill up the the water bottle it's got an automatic spring that makes sure it's not going to spill so all we do is we press that in and it will fill the water tray so our automatic water refill bottle should should empty out as the water level drops if one is not enough we can add the second water water bottle but uh, um, i'd recommend running it for a couple of hours waiting for it to get up to temperature and for the humidity to stabilize before adding the second bottle okay once the machine's up to temperature and you are happy with the humidity you can start loading eggs so you just lay them flat in the little holes like this. Okay, once you've got all your eggs loaded, you can just close up the machine again. Make sure that the gear that the gears line up and the machine seals properly. Okay, so now it's time to turn on the tower again. Now with the machine on, we're going to test the turning again. So we press the plus button. And we see it turning. Just keep in mind that the machine will turn the eggs every two hours. So it's not necessary for, for it to do a full rotation every time it turns. A little bit every two hours is more than enough to uh, stop the yolk from sticking to the shell. Okay, so now that your eggs are loaded and your machine's running, all we are going to do is we're going to monitor the humidity and add water as necessary and uh, we will check in again on day 8 when we do our first candle After the day, day 8 candle, we've gotten rid of the infertile eggs. Now all we're doing is we're running the machine again um, and we are checking that the temperature and humidity is maintained. So our temperature and humidity is still, still a little low but it will go up as, uh, as it runs and it will stabilize. Um, so all we do is we maintain that until we reach day 18 and then we do the final candle where it should be very easy to see if it's eggs fertile or not fertile. On the day 18 candle, you can clearly see a black mass and a nice air sac.
So after the day 18 candle, we remove the egg turning tray and we just place all the eggs back into the incubator, lying nice and flat. Once the eggs are back in, we, uh, we put the, the incubator lid back on and switch it on. Okay, so now after, after we've placed the eggs back in and the machines turn on, we place both water bottles in. We want a nice and high humidity for the last three days. So uh, we close the air vent up here we want it nice and humid inside the incubator so that the eggs can get nice and soft when uh, your eggs are in lockdown you can also mist them to help with uh, to help to soften the shells that is uh, um, especially if you feed your your chicks a high, a high calcium feed the shells might be too hard and misting the last couple of days just have to soften the shell so that the chick can break through easily. Once we've reached day 21, we will hopefully hear some chicks pipping and breaking out of the shells. Um, remember, a chick can survive inside the incubator for up to 36 hours without any food or water. Um, you can remove them once they are fluffy, but we normally recommend leaving them and leaving the, the, the incubator um, to do its thing. Um, it is also not unheard of of chicks to hatch on day 22, even 23, so don't be too hasty to turn off your incubator and get a lot of eggs that didn't hatch. Just give, the, give them a little bit of time.